Hey guys, I'm going to do a Christmas makeup for you today. I'm sure amongst the boozing and the cooking and the hanging out with weird family members, you probably feel that you don't have enough time to do with makeup. You may as well do without it. However, someone's going to have that bloody camera out and you don't want to regret anything. So I'm going to show you something that's going to take five minutes and it's going to make you look naturally beautiful and glowing, but won't take a lot of effort. So I have my Karaja Stock Shine Foundation in number 13. Uh, I've already moisturised my face, so it's just going to go onto my fingers, and I'm going to apply that to my fingers. Time saving. There are no rules with makeup. Stuff it. If you want to apply it with your fingers, do it. Now this is just a light coverage, because I don't want to look chunky full of makeup. Still make sure that you get all the way into the hairline and blend around and just run over the eyelids as well softly and when you're applying with your fingers like you do moisturizer make sure you just take a little bit down onto the neck just so it blends through that jawline next I'm going to take a, a fluid camouflage concealer this one's in number two now just need a bit under the eyes Always around the nose. So foundation is just for evening out the skin tone and the concealer is for covering up. So I like to put the concealer on second when I'm doing particular looks because it saves on your foundation and you only use it when you need it rather than spending so long doing the cover up. So I've got a little spot here. Lucky me. In time for Christmas. And then usually if you've got like a bit more redness through the cheeks or something, you can run that over. I actually like to blend in my concealer with my foundation brush. So it's probably just, it's a nice soft brush. I could use a really soft eyeshadow brush, but I like this one. So Now I probably wasn't going to powder my skin because I don't really like the way it feels. It can feel kind of clogged up and I think that that's what gives me bad skin if I've been using powder. But if you want to, if you feel oily without it, then do powder and make sure that if there's going to be photos taken, powder down to your neck and a little bit on any chest exposed because if the, you know when you have a photo and your face looks white and your body looks brown, it's the pigments in the powder that reflect against the light in the camera, giving you the two different looks. So make sure you bring the powder a bit down, but I'm not going to bother powdering. I don't like it. That's enough coverage. My skin tone looks beautiful and even. Moving on to eyes and eyebrows. Now, eyebrows are my favourite thing, so this is probably what I'm going to spend the longest on, but other than that, it's easy peasy. So I'm going to use a mix of both of the pencils. Uh, you, you could probably find an eyebrow, eyebrow pencil in itself that is a perfect match for you but because of where my hair colours out right now I feel like I need the mix of the two and also often mixing two colours together can make it look more natural so I've got eyebrow pencil two um, in a brown now this is how the eyebrows go I'm going to draw the underneath line plotting out where that's going to go I'm going to plot out very lightly, I don't want it to look like a stocky fake eyebrow, where the eyebrow is going to go above. And then I'm going to draw lines upwards like this so it looks like real hairs. In order to make it look less fake, you must brush those through. So I love these pencils because they've got a little brush on the end. So brushing that through. Now I'm going to take the black that I had and draw some lines through there. So it's still a bit gappy.
and also brush that through. Now, to make the brows look even more natural, you can take a brow mascara, but because I'm a money saver, I just use a normal brown mascara, and I pull the hairs upwards. Because then you can see each individual hair, and it doesn't look like you've plastered over them with uh, pencils or eyeshadow, whatever you use to fill your brows in. What a difference that makes looking at either half of the face. You know, it just frames the whole face. Don't underestimate the power of brows. I'm not going to bother putting anything on the eyes. I think everybody has beautiful eyes as they are, but I will focus on the lashes. So I'm going to give them a quick curl. If you don't need to, don't bother if they're already curly enough. And I'm really loving this Rimmel Extra Wow lash right now. I think it's gorgeous. This one is in um, Extreme Black, by the way, number three. And don't be afraid to whack a couple of layers of that on. So once you've done one side, go back and do the other. Again, a lovely mascara. I'm really loving that. Okay, onto the skin. Using my trusty Karaja um, face palette with all the blushes in it. I'm just going to use... Mm, because my skin's a bit darker right now, I'd probably use a slightly darker contouring uh, colour. So this... <laughs> You can barely see it anymore. So this is a, a brown, so that's going to go through the back of the cheeks. Using my angled brush. Take it right up into the hairline to contour. And down into the jawline. If it helps you to do a fish face, go for it. So that's a bit of contouring done for myself there. Now I just tend to use the same brush, go back in. I love a bit of a pink glow, so I'll probably use a mixture of these two sets of cell threes, a little bit of pink from each. And that's just going to go onto the cheek, onto the apple of the cheek, just a little bit. Now, if you did want to do a bit more to the eyes, if you think that's just not enough, go back to the colour you use for contouring. So this one here. Take a, a crease brush. So I've got this lovely kind of pencil-shaped round one there. And just run it through the socket. Gives it a bit of depth, takes all of two seconds. And it matches what you've got on your cheeks, so it's all one perfect flowing picture. Uh, my sister Roisin is in the kitchen uh, preparing her rhubarb tart. She's off to make pastry. This is what I'm laughing at. All I'm going to do for the lips, because I'm sure you'll be eating and drinking what you've got off, unless you're a bit more wild and you want to use a great Christmas red, is I've got this crystal gloss, Karaja crystal gloss in number 16. So rather than a clear plain gloss, something with a little bit of colour. And that's it. So that is all I'm doing on the whole face. It's so quick, it's so easy. You've got to take a little bit of skill to make that natural look perfect. I think that's all you're going to need for Christmas. You're going to be happy with your photos after that. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful Christmas day, sending my love, and good luck, no. That was good. I can see your face. Yeah, but it, um, I was going and thinking, but I like that. that was good. <laughs>